Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So it does look like T-Mobile is spending more on the 600 megahertz build out than everyone expected. I believe in one of my recent videos, I brought it up that I said, in my opinion, uh, T-Mobile's capital investment this year, most of it is going to go towards the expansion using the 600 megahertz band 71 spectrum to close the coverage gap in terms of square miles with Verizon. Well, recently, here in this second quarter, T-Mobile raised their capital investment, you know, by roughly $200 million. So, in my opinion, um, this is not stated in here, but I think they got more approval for the permits that they put out. So now in this second quarter, since they're approved, they raised the capital investment by $200 million to push out those permits and get those sites upgraded, whether they be new or old sites that are running uh, band two to uh, expand their coverage. Um, if you guys remember when T-Mobile started the LTE build out, they started it with mid band band two. So that coverage is a little bit more dense, but in some of those areas, uh, if I remember correctly, they don't have any low band. So they may add some band 71 onto those sites to expand the coverage even further. Uh, some, some of those towers uh, were two sector towers and they were only facing up and down uh, interstates or highways they weren't necessarily covering anything else off of that so as soon as you got off of that specific road you didn't have any more service so t-mobile could be potentially going back to those sites and uh, covering that surrounding radius so you don't lose service as soon as you get off of the that interstate or um, highway um i've been researching that for a long time and and T-Mobile has been doing that to claim coverage in certain areas. They would only cover the, you know, facing the sectors up and down that highway, but nothing else was covered around there. So they could be doing that. So this is definitely a good sign, increasing that by 200 million. But I still think even going into the uh, third quarter here, we're about 30 days out left 30 days left in uh, the second quarter but i think even going into q3 and q4 they're still going to spend most of that capital investment on the expansion of this uh, 600 megahertz band 71 so definitely stay tuned to the channel leave all your comments in the comment section down below let me know what you think have you noticed a huge coverage uh, gain in your area if you have a band 71 device um, I'm sure this is very important for T-Mobile to do so in case the merger does not get approved. They are looking to push the network to bring it on par with Verizon. So that way, if the merger does fall through, they are able to claim that at least that they were able to cover a good amount of LTE coverage uh, in terms of square miles as well. So definitely stay tuned. Leave all your comments in the comment section down below. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.